Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I'm welcoming you all to this video. Uh, so in the last video, we have actually prepared the data set that we are going to feed into our machine learning model so that our um, machine learning model can learn from it. Uh, so in this video, we are going to see how can we use PyCaret to build our model in just few lines. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be amazed to see, you know, uh, how simple uh, it has become uh, using PyCaret library. Uh, so without wasting any further time, let's get started. Uh, so uh, this is our Jupyter notebook that I have created and um, PyCaret is already installed in this particular instance. So uh, let's, you know, uh, first what you have to do, we have to actually read uh, the data set that we're going to feed into our ML model. Uh, so the entire data I have actually, you know, this all this good data set and bad data set I have combined into uh, this particular Excel, uh, this CSV file. Uh, as you can see uh, that this is having all the good and bad data set that we have extracted in the, you know, uh, that we have prepared in our previous videos. Uh, so we are going to first uh, read this CSV file so that we can reuse it. So for that, we will actually use pandas. So if you are not familiar with pandas, I'll request you to, you know, just Google about it. It is pretty simple, simple uh, import pn pandas. And we'll pandas as pd and we'll pd dot read csv and we'll have to give that path name which is this one so as you can see we have actually successfully read that now save it is uh, save it in the uh, in a data frame so now http is actually you know holding the csv file that we have just read from the disk uh, okay so now the what the next step uh, next thing that we have to do we have to actually initialize our uh, pi caret and basically we have to import it uh, so mm, let's go here and the documentation is really well so what you have to go, what you have to do you have to go to functions you have to model training you have to go create model and this is the page where you land and we are interested in actually you know uh, clustering uh, so as I have already explained the reason why we are going to use clustering. Uh, so this is the clustering example uh, for the first thing that we have to do. We have to import, you know, the necessary uh, PyCaret module uh, and it is successfully imported. And after that, we will have to, we'll ha actually have to create a model and we are going to use k-means model uh, for, you know, clustering. Uh, so uh, I'll actually before I get into it, I'll explain try to explain once again why we are actually using this clustering uh, model. Uh, uh, so I have already explained this before. I'm going to do it once again. So basically, this is a problem that we have. Uh, this is the data set that is given and the, we have some height, weight and gender. Uh, that are three things that are actually present in this uh, in this data set. And we have few uh, few data points where we don't know really what is the gender of those entries. So basically using the given data, we'll have to kind of predict or kind of find out, you know, um, these entries where the gender information is not available. Uh, whether uh, what is, what is the gender of those entries so we'll have to find out that so that's why actually you know we have created this graph and we are actually you know plotting height and weight in this particular graph and we are actually you know plotting these data points here so for example 41145 will be here and when we actually you know plotted all these data points um, uh, 6 to 80 will be here 6 to 80 will be somewhere here so when after we actually plotted this all these data points uh, you have to kind of imagine you know there are maybe you know thousands more data points over here so once we you know plotted all these data points we'll actually find out you know two areas where the points are actually more dense so we are actually calling those as clusters so uh, in this particular case as you can see you know this female data points are mostly you know densed in this particular region and the male data points are actually you know uh, densed in this particular region so even if we do not have this information we will actually find out this you know too dense region now when you have to find out uh, the gender of the entries that for which you know the gender information is not given we'll have to simply plot it so 5.149 so if we try to find out right 5.1 uh, and 49 and 
it will come somewhere here and 682 6 and 82 it will come somewhere here so as you can see uh, this this particular dot actually this particular data point is actually you know very close to this particular cluster or where you know mostly this this uh, female data points were actually you know uh, were present and we had this the density of female data points were really high here so that is why we are calling it the cluster one is a female cluster and this one uh, the 682 is actually you know is falling within the c2 cluster where actually you know male data points are actually you know are, are very dense so the, using that uh, using this particular logic we can actually come to a conclusion in the first entry where uh, first entry actually you know since it is falling into c1 cluster it is actually it is actually a male and c2 is actually female so the k means uh, is actually uh, it does almost uh, exactly the same uh, so basically we try to k means full form is you know a k nearest neighbor so it will actually try to find out you it will try, try to uh, try to predict this you know and the whatever the uh, whatever in this particular case it is gender or uh, in other problem it could be something else uh, it will try to predict based on the you know nearest neighbor that are available uh, so for this particular case the nearest driver are you know cluster one which is which are actually you know uh, the female data points so that's why you know we try to uh, we try to conclude that it's maybe it's a, a female and for this particular case it is actually you know uh, the nearest neighbors are mostly you know uh, male data points so that's why you we are, we are saying maybe this one is uh, the this one is a male uh, so that is a simple concept and we are going to use the utilize the same concept uh, here also so we have already imported you know the clustering module from PyCaret. now what you have to do you have to actually set up the environment uh, so this is the line uh, which actually you know will actually customize or you know uh, customize the environment for that particular model uh, so there are few parameters important parameters that we'll have to pass as you as this http is holding the entire data set uh, the data will be http and after that will be using uh, the categorical feature is not required here uh, and numeric features are basically you know all the uh, all the columns that are available mostly you know uh, that we're going to use is numeric only single q double q and all those things uh, so these are all numerical feature that we have so we are actually specifying it if you don't specify it um, we you will actually have to do it later on so i'll come to that in few minutes so after that we will have to uh, also define the features that we want to ignore for example method path body uh, so in this example method path body we don't really need because basically uh, these features actually we are going to use and we will have to ignore one more one more feature from this file that is class so we'll have to add that dot CLSS that is done let's press enter so as you can see since we have already mentioned it right um, you know, what all numeric features that are available single q double q it has actually specified that if you do not mention that uh, it will first actually you know put it as class uh, as categorical feature after that you will have to you know change it so uh, beforehand only i have actually uh, specified this as you know these are all you know numeric features that we're going to use so it is just asking uh, us to you know uh, if it is correct just press enter uh, and as you can see setup successfully completed and it has you know given some configuration information about the model that has uh, that we just you know um, initialized and yeah now uh, what we have to do we have to we can actually start creating this model uh, so just uh, this is from this is from the documentation page as you can see training k-means model just you know copy it paste it here uh, so as you can see um, the model is created if you just put uh, k means as you can see right now the number of cluster is four but we do not want to do that actually we'll actually you know keep number of cluster two so this is how you can actually change the number of cluster num clus clusters is equal to two uh, now if you just put it here as you can see number of cluster has changed to two so now uh, what we can do we can actually uh, we can actually visualize this using you know uh, plot model 
uh, function of PyCaret. So this is actually the documentation page and uh, the plot model. Uh, this is, you know, this is how you plot model. Uh, you just need to, you know, use the plot model function and you pass the model object. Uh, so plot model and here it is k-means. We'll just put it here. As you can see, um, we have this, you know, plot and as you can see this are you know some uh, data points where it is actually densed and this is actually you know one more uh, you know uh, data the, one more uh, area where actually you know uh, some cluster uh, th these data points are actually very quite dense in this section but this is actually uh, not a you know perfect uh, cluster because it is uh, some of the you know point data points are uh, little scattered but still we are going to try with it whether you know it is able to uh, you know serve our purpose which is actually you know detecting any uh, HTTP request whether it is good or bad uh, so this is what we, we can actually uh, see right now this is actually uh, one cluster and we can see you know this is one more cluster uh, the cluster 0 is in blue and cluster 1 is in red so this was our actually 2d cluster plot and uh, and if you look at this documentation uh, you can see that you know uh, there is also an option uh, cluster uh, 3d cluster uh, plot uh, so let's try uh, let's try it out so if you just do plot model plot model k means comma plot you just you know have to copy paste it and now we are going to get a 3d uh, graph 3d plot yeah this is how it looks like uh, as you can see uh, in this particular area this you know red cluster is uh, the red data points are actually you know quite dense and the rest of the places we mostly see you know the the blue one so this actually you know gives you a better understanding you know whether uh, how scattered uh, this points are which area uh, this is actually you know data points are quite dense and all so that's when the 3d uh, plot actually you know, you know uh, it's it's helpful anyway let's move on so now if you have to understand right in this particular uh, csv file you know which uh, which entry is falling into which cluster you have to you know as you have to use a function in uh, by caret which is called assign cluster uh, so the cluster object is k means and the function name is assign model uh, so and it returns the uh, means result k means result so as you can see it has successfully executed now if you just look at it uh, as you can see this uh, particular entry in this particular csv has fallen into you know cluster 0 uh, this is also you know fallen into cluster cluster 0 and like that uh, so what we have to do now we uh, we are not able to uh, get a you know full uh, get you know the the get the view of the you know entire csv file so let's try to you know save this uh, into a csv file k means dot you know uh, to csv let's try to save it uh, in the same folder itself let's call it k means dot result dot csv uh, as you can see we have this result here k means result and now we'll actually you know properly able to tell that you know which data point actually you know fall into which cluster so uh, this is exactly why i actually you know added this particular column here we are not using that into our model but it will help us you know trying to kind of figure out uh, whether you know it is able to properly uh, cluster the good one and the bad one uh, so now let's try to find out uh, all the cluster one, cluster one cluster from so far what I feel like you know all the um, cluster zero uh, candidates are good one so let's try to select only cluster one from this filter so as you can see 
cluster 1 are mostly all the cluster 1 entries are bad okay so which means our clustering uh, model is uh, successful up to a certain point but let's have a look at you know cluster 0 as well yeah so now as you can see this clustering uh, the cluster 0 is having mostly the good entries at the beginning and now you know these are you know some of the exception or error that you can say so we have some of the bad entries as well it seems like you know these are all the bad entries for that we may have to you know uh, improve our feature extraction or you know fine-tune our model uh, so I'll you know explain all these things later on mm, yeah so this is the one this is one more uh, so using this data points actually we can actually you know uh, do further improvement in our data extraction uh, feature extraction or you know uh, fine-tune our model so uh, what we can actually conclude right uh, I mean our model is actually you know successful up to a certain point and uh, we have actually kind of seen you know cluster 1 is a bad one and cluster 0 is the good one uh, as you know most of the entries in cluster 0 are you know are classified as good one so we will actually you know uh, build this uh, this IPS and based on this model itself but before that we'll have to test whether you know it is able to successfully detect our uh, uh, detect any you know intrusion or bad HTTP request so for that uh, we'll have to actually you know uh, get some test data and you know validate the test data against the model that we have just created here uh, so I'll actually you know uh, cover that part uh, how can we test that model in the next video uh, so that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. I hope you have enjoyed today's video uh, so uh, I would like to mention it once again. I am actually you know complete noob in this machine learning domain I'm just you know, I just started learning this thing So if you at any point of time if you feel like you know, I am explaining something in a uh, I'm not explaining something in the right way. Please feel free to point me out. I'll I would love to learn you know mm, new concept of things from you guys anyway uh, so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next video bye bye